In Vegas, Miguel Cotto will make the second defense of his WC middleweight title against former junior middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez. Cotto is the only Puerto Rican fighter to win world titles in four different weight classes. But his opponent, Canelo, is on a three-fight winning streak since losing his only professional bout to Floyd Mayweather. Let's send it out to our ESPN Deportes crew in Vegas. We're in Vegas, counting down to the Cotto Canelo fight for first take. I'm Bernardo Osuna, joined by Mexican boxing icon Juan Manuel Marquez. Juan, what makes this fight so intriguing? I think uh, this fight will be a, a great fight. The people, the people will see an uh, explosive fight because um, Canelo is a, a youth fighter. Uh, Cotto has the experience, has a uh, uh, he he need a, a level of, of opponent uh, opponents a uh, great fighters. I, I think uh, this fight will be an explosive fight. You don't want to give us your prediction, but why don't you tell us how Canelo can win this fight against the very experienced uh, Miguel Cotto? Canelo needs to do pressure, needs to uh, throw a lot of, a lot of punches uh, with a with a power. Uh, Cotto has experience. Cotto has a. Uh, uh, a great uh, opponents in, in in the past. I think uh, Canelo he need to he need to use uh, his legs. He need to use combinations. Uh, he need he need to do he need to throw a lot of punches. It's a 10 year age difference. 35 years old for Miguel Angel Cotto, who's been in many wars, and Canelo Alvarez, who needs to prove that he is an elite fighter. Stephen A. Skip Molly, we send it back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's Puerto Rico versus Mexico. We didn't get a prediction from Vegas, but we will from Bristol and Philly. Stephen A., who you got? And by the way, Stephen A., before you go, I'm, I'm going to give you the floor to make a Marquez joke about Pacquiao. It's, you, we just got to have one from you. So we just, well, 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 yeah. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I, I, I love Manny Pacquiao because he is so special, and I, and, and I really like him a lot, and he's so good for boxing. I just love him. But... You know, is he awake? Is, is Manny okay? That's all I care yeah, about. I know. Is Manny okay? Mar Marquez is still anyway. wondering. Yeah, anyway. you're right. You know, you don't need Ambien. You don't yeah. need Ambien if yeah. you pack you. Yeah. I can tell you that much. Got Just it. remember that fight. Okay. You'll go back to sleep. Yeah. Here's the deal. Okay. Let's get back Here's to this deal. fight. Skip, this is a tough one, man. I agree. Because, see, Kodo can fight. And, and I'm one of those guys, Skip. Do you remember when Cotto fought Margarito yes, years ago? Yes, do I. And Margarito beat him badly mm -hmm. because he cheated. Loaded. He turned his, loaded his, his, gloves. His, his, he loaded his gloves. Yep. It was like a cast. Mm -hmm. I was at the fight ringside. Mm. And, I, and, and let me tell you something, Skip. It was a beating. And you knew something was wrong because you never saw Cotto wince like that. And on top of it all, you know, he had to end up getting on one knee and just, like, bowing out. Man, it was vicious, and you knew something was wrong. And for Margarito to cheat like that, as far as I'm concerned, he should have been banned from boxing. All yeah. this PDU steroids, all this other Forget all of that. You can't do more harm to a boxer than loading your glove the yeah. way that he did. He should be ashamed of himself. Having said that, I think that kind of fight takes a lot out of you. Now, I know Cotto's with Freddie Roach, and we know how much we love and respect Freddie Roach. But I think that Canelo is the bigger, stronger fighter. He's younger. He's faster. I think Cotto could be a better boxer, but not that superior to what Canelo went against when he went against Floyd. If, Co if, if Canelo had never gone against Floyd and went against Cotto without the Floyd Money Mayweather experience, I would pick Cotto to win this fight because I think that he would be a superior boxer. It would be an aberration for Canelo, and Canelo wouldn't be prepared. But after going against Money Mayweather, I don't think that Canelo ever has to worry about going against another defensively brilliant fighter like that again. Because of it, I think he's prepared for this fight. And because he's younger and stronger, I'm going to pick Canelo to win this fight. Now, initially yesterday... I thought it might have been like an 11th round TKO. That's what I was going to go with. But Freddie Roach has Cotto boxing so effectively. I think if Cotto feels uh, uh, Canelo's power, he'll know how to evade it to some degree. So I think that he can avoid getting knocked out. But I don't think he can fight well enough to win. I'm picking Canelo to win this. It's going to be a good fight. But I'm picking him to win this fight. By, major, by, by, by unanimous decision. A relatively close fight. Canelo will win by about two rounds. But ultimately, 
I think it will go to distance. He beats Cotto, but Cotto does not get knocked out because of Freddie Roach. That's mm. what I believe. And I believe the opposite. And it's also very difficult for me, and I went back and forth last night about this. I'm going to go with the boxer here. I'm going to go with experience. I'm going to go with age. I'm going to go with a majority decision for Cotto. And yet, I blame you. I, listen, when, when I look at the tail of the tape, man, Canelo is shockingly bigger and longer and obviously younger at 25 to 35. And if you look at what Canelo does post weigh-ins, he just balloons back up. So they got the catch weight at 155, and, and he's going to, he, he'll fight that night, tomorrow night at 170 something, maybe 171 or two. I, listen, Cotto just isn't that big of a man. So Cotto will fight this fight at 153 maybe, somewhere in that range. So he's going to give up massive weight and about three and a half inches of reach to Canelo. But I will remind you, Cotto has won his last six fights by knockout under the great Freddie Roach, seven-time trainer of the year. He has won his last three by knockout, and I will give you, and we don't have time to pick it apart, each of those opponents had question marks, had flaws, had issues, so you, you can pick those three knockouts apart. But I just like the way he's looked under Freddie Roach. And I, I believe that Cotto, tomorrow night, will be at the height of his prime. He's, he's maybe at the, starting to get to the backside of his prime, but the height of his boxing prowess. And I do think, Stephen A., that, that Cotto is at least in the same echelon with Floyd in boxing brilliance, in, in, as a tactician, as a strategist, as not, not that he's Floyd defensively, but, but he can defend. But unlike Floyd, I think you would agree with me, Cotto can punch. He can punch a little bit. He can't punch like yes, Canelo, can. but he can punch a little bit. So he has respectable defense, terrific strategically, and pretty good offense. So I like his package better than I like Canelo's. And you, you remember two years ago, Floyd just took Canelo to school. I, it, was just, it was just laughable. And, yes. and all props to Floyd. He just... He just boxed rings He's around cool. Canelo. It was, it was just, and again, it was, it was a majority decision. One of the judges called it a draw. I have no idea how, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that always happens. So in hey, this case. By the way, Skip, boxing. he schooled him, and he didn't run. He didn't run, Skip. No. Floyd didn't run. No, he did, not in that fight. He didn't he need to run. Yeah. Okay, and, right. and to your point about Antonio Margarito, it looks to me like it took about seven years, but Cotto looks like he's recovered sort of physically and psychologically from that beating that he took that night. And you know and I know he's going to have to withstand a couple of big shots tomorrow night to last through this, and I think he's prepared to do that. So I think on, on mind and body that, that he will be a tough matchup for Canelo. And, and I think it will go the distance, obviously, but, but in the end, I just think on savvy and skill, and, and accuracy with his punches, which are, he, he's got his share of power punches too. He'll wear down Canelo. Canelo never looks like he's in great shape to me. I could be wrong about that, but, but I think Canelo's gonna have a hard time staying with Cotto to the bitter end. So maybe some of the late rounds, Cotto will win or even steal. And, and I'll go majority decision, not unanimous, but majority to Cotto, mind as well as body. I will tell you this. You may be right if that catch weight of 155 that they're contracted to fight yep. at is something that drains Cotto. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Canelo. Canelo. It could. If it, if it, yeah. if it drains Canelo, because yeah. see, that's how Manny Pacquiao had his way with Oscar De La Hoya. He did. The, Oscar De La Hoya came in at that 145 catch weight, and Floyd Money Mayweather always said to me that the Pacquiao was fighting a dead man walking in, in De La Hoya because De La Hoya had to lose all of that weight for that fight. If that's the case with Canelo Alvarez, all right, then he's got a problem with Cotto. Because Cotto, I have no doubt, will be in pristine shape. He's experienced enough at doing this where from a conditioning perspective, Skip, 
he will be ready. Yep. And Canelo has to be at full strength in order to beat him. It can't be one of those situations where he's completely drained, where he's looking all buff, the six-pack, the eight-pack, and yep. all of this other stuff. But at the end of the day, you're really weak because you had to lose so much weight. That can't happen. Otherwise, you're right. Cotto will win. But I, I'm assuming both of them are going to be at full strength, experienced and knowledgeable enough to know where they need to be when they walk into that ring. And based on that, I think Canelo at least gets a knockdown and ultimately gets the decision. Okay. Now I'm going to take you one last place. Last night on SportsCenter, Cotto was asked about potentially fighting Mayweather, who obviously has quote-unquote retired. And Cotto made the case, as we all would expect him to, that, that he could beat Mayweather right now under the great Freddie Roach. I believe he could because I think he could match Floyd, as I just detailed, mind as well as body. And I think right now at age 35, at the height of his powers, Cotto would be a bad matchup for Floyd because he's got some Floyd in him as well as some offense to go with the defense. So to me, there's no way Floyd would even entertain risking a fight against Cotto, as much money as it might make, especially if Cotto wins, to, obviously, tomorrow night. But you tell me, would, would he risk it, and would you give Cotto a shot against Floyd right now? In fairness to Floyd, he has told me, and Leonard Ellaby has told me repeatedly over the last several months since fighting Andre Berto, that's his last fight, he's retired. Let's just throw out that caveat. All right. Just to be fair to them, quote them, that's what they say. I personally believe Cotto's the one fight he would fight. He mm. would do. And the reason why I believe that is because that's what ultimately invited and, and, and sort of provoked the relationship coming together between Floyd and his father. Because his father watched Floyd being trained by his uncle. Yep. He watched Floyd take too many hits against Cotto. His father told me this. And he said, I ain't like that at all. I got a problem with this. So he really wanted to get back because he wanted to get back. And it wasn't to knock Roger. Roger, the uncle, has done a phenomenal job, but he's got some health issues, as we all know. That's why the father also got back into it as well. But Floyd also told me that that had to change. In other words, he got hit too much against Cotto. Ever since that time, he went back to boxing. Had the, had the Floyd Mayweather that got in the ring with Cotto Skip got in the ring with Canelo Alvarez, he'd have got hit. He might have got hurt. Mm. I think that he remembers that, and I think that's the one fight that he would do just because he could go into the ring and school Cotto, but it would have to be after Cotto schools Canelo, which I don't think is going to happen. He can't lose to Canelo. He has to beat Canelo, yep. and it has to be a mega, mega fight for Floyd to even consider it. They all, Floyd, Canelo, and Cotto, all of them need to stay away from Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. <laughs> Don't go near that man. <laughs> Don't go near that man, Skip. Stay away from him. Everybody, stay away from him. Don't go near him. All right. What well, we do small. know is this fight is must-see because Stephen A. tweeted about it and yeah. Oscar De La Hoya said it. You can catch the Cotto Canelo weigh-in live on SportsCenter and ESPN Deportes at 6 p.m. Eastern tonight, plus catch pre- and post-fight coverage tomorrow. So here we go. Skip is taking Cotto and Stephen A. says, Canelo, make sure you make your prediction by taking part in our vote on Twitter. Also give us your predictions using the hashtag TakeCanelo or TakeCoto. Up next, we stay in the desert. Carson Palmer might be fined for using a certain gesture during the game, but is it warranted? We'll tell you what it is and react to it next. <laughs> 